Hello everyone, I'm Alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Sharing Life Issues with Her Excellency Hajia Ami. Welcome to Itaaye Gidi. La Baron Duni Anagaskia. Aku Kondu Madu. Real Life Story. Today I'll be telling you a story from our inbox. I love everyone from wherever you are watching me. May the Almighty God and the Almighty Allah bless all of you. Allahumma Ami. I'll go ahead and read the inbox messages. It states, please read and judge this matter. It happened to my friend's cousin. This couple had been married for more than seven years. The guy schooled abroad, came back to settle in Nigeria. He got married to the lady and she took in almost immediately after three months after their wedding. In the early stage of his wife's pregnancy, things went bad for the guy. He ran a logistic business but everything crashed so fast. He became so broke, no income, no expenses. His beloved wife changed and soon showed her real color. Two years into the marriage, she became totally different. She began to fully frustrate him and insult him as any given opportunity. She would mock him for being cursed with poverty and Call him all sort of names in the public. The guy wrote proposals after proposals, applications after applications, yet no result. His parents and siblings did send food stuff and some change at times. His wife's brother did as well, but whenever he sent them something, she would use it to insult life out of her husband, asking if her brother isn't his fellow man. Romance disappeared and they didn't bear any other child apart from the first one, a girl. His family had asked him to divorce her, but he told them that he would never send her away unless she lives on her own. He always blamed himself for putting her through hardship, even though it wasn't his fault. They told him that she could be a bad luck to him, but he didn't believe in such superstitions. Last year, on a fateful day, the guy went job hunting as usual. Before he got back, his wife had packed all her belongings and left the house with their daughter. He called her and she insulted him and rained curse on him, calling him a loser and a failure. She threatened to arrest him if he should show his presence or show his poverty striking self at her family's house and blocked his line day after. She told him the marriage was over and that she had moved on. She sent very terrible WhatsApp messages. He didn't even have money for a fare to travel to see them, so he just swallowed in sorrow. Three days after, depression set in and he began to contemplate suicide. Just as he was planning the quickest way to end his life, he received a phone call from one of the companies he had written proposals to a year before. They invited him for a meeting the next day. He had to borrow transport money from his neighbor and went for the meeting. To the glory of God, his proposal was accepted and approved. This made him a millionaire suddenly. If there's anything called sudden breakthrough, this was it. His life changed in an instant. This happened less than a week after his wife left him. He visited the family of his wife a month later to serve her divorce paper and also make arrangements on how he would take care of his daughter. Now, here is the issue at hand. The woman, his ex, went to the house but was told that the guy had moved. Somehow, she found out where he stayed, packed her belongings and came to the house with her, the daughter. The guy refused to let her in. Now she's claiming they were never separated, but only had temporary misunderstanding. She has refused to sign the divorce papers. 
After playing tea back and forth, she said it's either the guy compensates her with half of all he has now for all the years she had suffered with him before she would sign the divorce papers or he should accept her back as his wife because they are still legally married. The guy said over his dead body, will he accept her back or share half of what he owns with her? He showed all her WhatsApp messages, proving that she had ended the marriage herself. But the woman denied everything, claiming the WhatsApp messages was doctored. The case has been in court since last year. Okay, so let's read some of the messages from our Sharon Life Issues with Her Excellency Haji Ami. I'm going to be reading some of the messages and some of the feedbacks from our members at Sharon Life. Tifa Abdul Latif stated, This one's Strongo. Khadija Salami stated, Elei Gidigan. Salima Tokbe stated, on a normal ground, I would have said he shouldn't accept her back because such woman will still leave him if he's broke again. You know nothing. It's permanent. There are ups and downs in business. That's natural, oh. But you see this shege where men don't show us to. My sister, make that man forgive her jaw. Who won't suffer? There's nothing new under the sun, I beg. Oh, will you draw and just pray? She's not bad luck. If she's not, then I see no reason you can't accept her back. Another lady might do worse because judging someone without experiencing their situation, my dear, it's uncalled for. So I would advise the man to pray over it. And if his wife curse normally, they are still married. And if she's not bad luck, then they are good to go. A devil, you know, is much better than an unknown angel. Zainab Magaji stated, The thing get as he be, oh. It may be a trial, but she fell. Wealth came immediately she left. Then Salama Tokbe responded to Zainab. That's my last point. If he prayed over it and found out she's bad luck. Then it's a different story entirely. I don't want the man to view it from what she did because anybody can do such. But spiritually, if she affecting his fortune, then he can leave her. Busaya Oluwoyeye Daramola stated, over to the elders. Jennifer Ako stated, see better mano. God bless you, sir for all you endured in the hands of that so-called ex-wife. Of yours, you see this my gender? Hmm. Oga, please do well and take care of your daughter and forget about your ex-wife, period. Olatumbosu Abalarinwa stated, let the case remain in court and let both of them continue to move on. She that packed out should stay out. Baddest, my baddest international security expert. Rashiri. And Fatima Yahakub stated, I can't stop laughing. She that packed out indeed should stay out. She responded to Olatumbosu Apolariwa. Olani Kefolashade stated, Hmm, this matter serious, so make the man no collect her back till court order. Rakia M. Garba stated, I don't have much to say, but it's best for him to do all that he could to divorce her because the kind of woman can kill silently and pretend. And my baddest doctor, Dr. Pabio stated, I stand with the guy on this doctored WhatsApp call, doctored WhatsApp knee. She left on her own, let her stay out of his life. He's better off without her. And my baddest therapist in the building and counselor, Njuma, Ida Bomo stated, the man does not owe the wife a dime as she had been difficult during his trying times. Simply put, all she cared about was the money and not love. All he can do is to accept the upkeep of his daughter, which they had together. Also, he needs to engage a good lawyer to scratch 
the aspect of giving half of his entire earnings before she can sign off the divorce papers. She is greedy, wicked, and wanting to reap where she did not sow. He should also get a restraining order against the wife pending when the issue is settled amicably. Sakina Moyoshiri stated, Hmm, this is why Islam teaches patience. I pray Allah see the man through because it's obvious the woman is a devil's agent. Mariam Lowell Ibrahim stated, Ha! Barakat Murani Keju Alawole Aziz stated, Truly his wife is the bad luck. He shouldn't trash it out, nor sissy, except for the daughter's upkeep, and he must not take her back. She is Olori Buruku Iyawo Oshi, Oni Nobi, Ole Ari Ogun, Ologun, Debi Ayati. He should stand firm and fight it out. Iyawo Olori Buruku Elese Oshi, bad omen wife. And Ade Bayo Nafisa Nela put four laughing emojis. Can you write your comment down below what you think he needs to do? Thank you so much for always coming to watch us at Sharing Life Issues with Her Excellency Hajia Ami. Do not forget to subscribe if you've not done so. Also, give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. Thank you. Have a good one. Love you. And may the Almighty Allah and the Almighty God continue to guide and protect all of us. Let us pray. Peace out.